best coils in the game, period. Vupu Argus Pro 2. It's been a while since I've done a vape review. Designed by Vupu on the side of the box, on the back side of the box. Let me just pull one out so you can see the back of it. Everything that's included, you get your Argus Pro 2 device, the direct to lung 5 mil capacity. That's absolutely massive. PMPX, which is their new platform. I think everything from this point on is going to be a PMPX, not the original V1 version. Type C cable. As soon as you open it up, you're going to get a little pouch that's going to have your user manuals and all your vaping propagandas inside of it. There's actually more than just that inside of there. You get a USB A to a USB C. A silica gel packet. Make sure you don't eat that. It's it's not good, man. I, I know it says do not eat, and it's tempting because it reminds you of like a mini pack of nerds. Don't. And then you also get an extra coil and then your user manual. So of course we're gonna take that out. It's a shame that, you know, I get the idea of moving to a new platform or a new coil. The last review I did of Vupu, it had this coil, the PMPX, and of course that's a new platform. So everything you see at this point is going to be using that. So this is a 3000 mAh built-in battery with a traditional PNP tank. Everybody knows this, and then you just kind of pop that out. They definitely changed that. So the one that comes installed is a 0.15, and then the extra is a 0.3. The airflow bore on a 0.15 versus the 3 is about double. I mean, it's absolutely massive. We're going to go with the 0.3 just because I prefer a little bit of a higher resistance. I know some people like 0 0.10, 0 0.15. And your pod is simple. Kind of just lines up. It just slides in like so. On the original PNP tank, I used that so much that the bottom of it actually rusted. This is plastic, so that's a good thing. And you got your four magnets, airflow adjustment on the top. To fill the tank, we pull this little rubber gasket. I'm going to use three milligrams on the inside here. Um, that's actually... Mm, make sure you let that sit for about five minutes prior to using it, too. I absolutely love the fades that they got going on, this blue to silver. I don't know how well that camera's picking it up. And on the back side, some more shades of blue. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Fire it up. We've seen this screen for a long I'm getting juice everywhere. So on the front, you have your lock button. Unlock. And you can adjust this up to 80 watts. And it does not round robin. You do have a five digit hit count. So if we hold the plus and minus down at the same time, we could change the mode from smart to RBA and then turbo. What is, what is turbo? All right, I don't know, but I'm interested. Setting. And then it allows you to reset your hit count. And then about device shows you the chip ID and the code. Simple enough, very easy. What's nice is on the bottom of this, they made that soft so it's a little bit grippy so it doesn't fall over. On the front face on the bottom is going to be your USB port to charge it. Once again, that is a Vupu Argus Pro 2. Let's bring it back on top. It's going to be a little dark. All right, I totally forgot to bring a back on the top, but you know what? This is a good thing. So this is the Argus Pro 2. So now usually when I do these reviews, people wonder whether or not I actually use the products. I literally, I totally forgot to do this. I was editing the video and I was like, wow. There was no back on top section. Yep, so here I am, back on the top. And you'll notice that there's actually a hit count on this. You see that? 193 hits. So I don't want to hear shit. Jay, you don't use nothing. You know, if there's ever a problem with a product, I would always do a backup video and say, hey, man, you know, this was jacked up or this was wrong or this was this didn't work or the coil sucked. So I didn't have that problem. And that's with all the products, by the way. So across the board, I really like this. It's a built-in battery. People prefer 18650s, as did I, but having something that has a built-in battery when you're out and about is just much easier, especially considering that I would recommend you to charge them with USB-C because you don't have another option versus charging a mod that has an 18650 or 21700 and then using your USB-C. I, I know they're essentially the same thing. It's just I prefer one over the other. I prefer 18650s across the board, but if you have something that's just going to toss around and put inside of your cup holder, in your car on your way to work or I don't know you're gonna go skiing or snowboarding 
anywhere other than where your house is, I see the use of this. When you have tanks that are plastic like this, no matter what you do, you cannot destroy them. So that's a good thing, aside from just using the old traditional glass. I really like mods that essentially you could just throw around and not have to worry about it. And this checks those boxes. So I would 100% recommend this. If I had to rate this device on a zero to 10, does that even, I, the question is, is whether or not people even care about a rating anymore. If I recommend it, yes. If I don't, whatever. Because so many people stole my style. They started rating products. Go back six years ago, see if they rated products. Go back to my video six years ago, see if I rated products. People didn't like to do that. Now, they all do it. Whatever. I've kept it real. Have you? Jay Hazel.